emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Welcome to another quickie FAQ with Fox and Sprue. Alan Black has asked us the best way to mask clear parts and canopies and the best way to attach them to the model. Canopies and clear parts are something that fills every modeler with stomach churning dread and wobbles. Every single one of us has tried to hand paint canopy frames only to make a right pig's ear of it and utterly ruin a model that we've put tons of hard work into. And then we usually invent new and exciting words to express our frustration. There's no way to paint a canopy or a window frame without any form of masking. Thankfully, masking is actually easier than you think. There are quite a few ways, from using tiny bits of tape, making masks on and off the clear part, using thin metal foil, masking fluid and more. Too many to go into here in any great detail, but let us show you two of the easiest at least. One tried and true tip for masking off small clear parts that it would be tricky to mask with tape, especially recessed ones such as portholes, display screens or small details like headlights, spotlights, lenses and such, is to simply apply masking fluid over the clear part with a cocktail stick or an old brush that you don't mind throwing away. This handy and uh, very stinky fluid uh, will cover the lens or fill a recessed porthole nicely and create a rubbery coating that can be pulled off once painting's finished. It's great on circular and recessed shapes as the liquid will conform to the edge of the part by surface tension and magic. However, a limitation of masking fluid is that it won't give you a nice, crisp, straight edge, so it's not really suited for things like windows with frames or canopies, which will look messy as a result. For things with frames or crisp edges, you want to use masking tape to cover the windows, but leave the frame exposed. Ideally, you want to use a nice, thin tape that cuts with a crisp edge, like Tamiya masking tape, not household masking tape or sellotape. You can either cut strips of tape into millions of tiny squares and shapes and cover the window areas with them, or you can cut single pieces of tape to fit each pane. And the easiest way to do that is by placing the tape strip over the whole canopy, frame included, burnishing it in place into all the corners and edges, and then trimming the tape carefully in place with a sharp blade. Then you can pull away the unwanted tape, leaving the pane covered and the frame exposed. This method will give you more uniform and neat paint edges compared to using lots of little pieces. Once it's masked, you can crack on painting it, but do not be tempted to brush paint this part. You want to spray the canopy frame, either with an airbrush or a rattle can. Brush painting it will get paint under the tape edges and ruin the canopy. If you're painting the canopy off the vehicle, make sure you mask the inside of it as well to avoid spraying on the inside. And for extra cool points, you can make the inside of the frame a different colour to the outside by painting the cockpit interior colour first and then the outside colour on top. The inside colour will show on the inside of the frame. It's easier to show you all this. Check out my video guide below to masking and painting a basic canopy with a crisp and proud frame. Attaching a cockpit is also easy as long as you never, ever, ever use any of your normal polystyrene cements or super glues, also called CA glues. Polystyrene cements will melt the plastic and leave nasty messes all over it. And CA glue can fog up the clear parts with its vapour and fumes. To glue your clear parts, use a few dots of canopy glue, such as Revell Contactor Clear or Microscale Micro Crystal Clear on the contact surfaces of the canopy. These are non-welding glues, very similar to good old PVA glue or Elmer's glue, that always dry clear and do not fog up clear parts, as there are no solvents and they don't react at all to the plastic. Their bond is good, but not as tough as welding cement, and they won't give structural support, but they are perfect to attach small parts like canopies and lenses. You have a few minutes to clean up any excess splodges with a damp cotton bud, and they will dry absolutely clear. They're also often used as a temporary glue where a part might need to be removed later. So there you go. Remember to check out the video below and of course our other FAQ guides. And if you have a quickie question, send it to sales at emodels.co.uk with the title FAQ question or fill out the contact form on the website. Make something awesome.